Jess, because in the end, because they were desperate, and they, and they were filming in a couple of weeks, and they haven't got a James. Oh, all right, give it a Chris then. And we shot it, and everybody said, great, that's a wrap, on to the next location. And they said, Carol, that's all you're needed for today. Um, you can sit here on the bus and wait until we come and get you later. And they forgot me. I think I was only meant to be in five of the first episodes, but um, Robert Hardy liked the way the two brothers worked. And Chris was very, always very keen to give Tristan all the good jokes. So <laughs> I was just sitting there going, oh yes, thank you. <laughs> All his books and his storytelling and his life demonstrates he was a great man. Most of you here tonight are remembering the life of, and achievements of James Herriot. Jim and I are doing that too, but we are also celebrating Alf White. I remember back around 1975 when my dad had become James Herriot, he'd made a little bit of money and I'd spent a sleepless night the night before because we were losing farm clients. The farm customers that James Herriot talks about in his books were gradually giving up and our income was going down a bit. And he put his hand on his shoulder and he broke into song. He said, don't worry boy, your papa's rich and your mama's good looking. Oh, your daddy's rich and my is good looking. So hush, little darling, don't you cry. He went to Glasgow Veterinary College. It was a five-year course like it is today, but in those days, guys could spend 10 or 15 years on a five-year course, permanent students. And I quote what my father wrote in James Herriot's dog stories. One chap, Macaloon by name, had been there for 14 years, but had managed to get only as far as the second year in the curriculum. Of course, there's no such person as Macaloon. This is what James Herriot did. He made a composite of many characters. Macaloon was a composite of many men that my father knew. Amazingly, we have people here from very far away tonight. Australia. From Sweden. Born and raised Buffalo, New York. We've travelled over from Ireland. We're from Belgium and we admire James Herriot. I think it was, a, it was a tremendous tribute to the life of our father. The people who were there were representing all different parts of his life and different interests. I've had some bad times in my life when I've been ill and his books have always chewed me up. I read all the books, watched all the TV programmes and the films, so I'm a huge fan. I've been a fan of James Harris since about 15, so absolutely when this came along, wow. 